All right, uh, let's look at the homework 13, problem number two, part B. All right, so uh, let's do um, apply a power series method to solve this differential equation, All right? So uh, second derivative, so this is going to be uh, summation um, n equals two to infinity, so n times n minus one times c n x to the n minus two, All right, plus y, so it's just a summation, n goes from zero to infinity, c n, x to the n, All right? So this is equal to x, All right? So first thing I would do is uh, I want to match, uh, x, I, want, I want x to the n instead of x to the n minus two, All right? So we're gonna start from, say, decrease uh, this guy by two, we can incre increase the indices by two. So this is going to be a summation. So we're going to start from uh, zero. Then we can turn this into n plus two, n plus one, c n plus two, then x to the n, All right? So this is going to be a summation. n goes from zero to infinity, All right? Then you have uh, quantity x plus two times quantity x plus one times c n plus two plus you have c n. Then we can pull out x to the n, All right? So this is equal to x. All right, so we know that uh, this guy right here is equal to zero if the only problem is when n equals one, uh, you have to get x instead of zero. So if n is not equal to one, all right? So we know that uh, here, so this will give us, all right? So cn plus two is equal to uh, negative one over um, n plus two, n plus one, c n, right? If, so if n is not equal to one. All right, so let's try to see a pattern here. So let's try n equals zero. All right, so c two is equal to, all right? So it's going to be negative one over and zero two times one so that's two factorial and a c zero All right then uh, here if you try c n equals one so maybe i'll go here n equals one All right so this one we have to uh, we have to do it differently because uh, if n equals one so three times two so it's a uh, three factorial C three plus C one, right, is equal to one, right? Because you have one x, so we have to set that equal to one, right? So we can solve this. Uh, so we can solve for C three is equal to. I'm gonna put the negative uh, C one and the plus one becomes a negative one because I pulled out the negative sign divided by three factorial. All right, then uh, let's uh, do uh, n equals, uh, so other than that, it follows the rule, so n equals two. So this gives you C4 is equal to negative one over, all right? So it's a four times three, so four times three times uh, C2, but C2 is this guy right here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in. Two factorial C0. So you can see that uh, you have a negative one squared because two negative sign. And uh, you have a C0 on top. Maybe I'll put C0 on top, All right? Four times three times two factorial is four factorial, All right? And let's do N equals three then you can see that it's gonna be C5 is equal to, right, follow the rule, negative one over five times four, 
times C3. But the C3 is this guy, so it's going to be negative. Um, uh, C1 minus 1 over 3 factorial. So this is going to be negative 1 squared. And then you have a 1 over, uh, I'll just put the C1 minus 1 over 5 times 4 times 3 factorial is 5 factorial. All right. So you can see the pattern here. So this is going to be the pattern. So these are the even ones. So C2n is equal to uh, negative 1 to the nth power. All right. Then you have a C0 over 4 factorial, which is 2n factorial. All right. Because 4 factorial, 2 factorial. 2n, 2n factorial. Right, same thing happens here. So those are the odd ones. Uh, so 2n plus 1 is going to be negative 1 to the nth power. Right, then you have this uh, c1 minus 1 over 5 factorial is just a 2n plus 1 factorial. All right, so let's try to um, write down the, uh, the uh, solution. So I'm going to go up here. All right. So here is the solution. So y is equal to, all right. So these formulas are valid when starting from uh, n equals 2, all right. So I'm going to just write down the first two terms uh, just outside. So c0 plus, all right, c1x, all right. Then uh, x squared term, it's going to follow that. So it's going to be a summation. Uh, n starts from 1, because if n is a 1, it's going to be c2, right? So you have uh, 2 infinity. So we have this, negative 1 to the nth power, um, c0 over 2n factorial times x to the right power is 2n. Right, this guy is going to be, right, so it's a summation. Right, this guy starts from 3, so n has to start from 1. Right, because uh, 2n plus 1, when n equals 1, is going to be 3. So you have a negative 1 to the n, and you have a c1 minus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial x to the these are odd powers right and uh, you can see that uh, these guys this guy is almost um, the cosine and this guy is almost sine right only problem is that it's starting from 1 starting from 1 so we want to start from 0 so the when n equals 0 the term we need is going to be right 0 here, 0 here, so it's going to be 1 times c0 over 1, and uh, x to the 0 is 1. So we need c0, and luckily we have c0 sitting here. So if you combine these guys together, right, we will have right, summation. Right now, this is the very first term, so we can start from n equals 0 and uh, to infinity. Right, then I'm going to pull out the c0 outside. Right, then you have a negative 1 to the n, and you have uh, x to the 2n over 2n factorial. Right, then here, this one's a little tricky one. Right, so if you want to start from n equals 0, when n equals 0, so this is 1, n equals 0, so this is 1 factorial is 1, and that's 1. So we would need c1 minus 1 x, right? Because if it's 0, it's x, right? So we would need, um, let's see, so you have c1, maybe, what I, so we need, uh, maybe we should put it, Right, we need c1 minus 1 x would be the very first term we need, which is c1 x minus x. Right. So here we have c1 c1 x is already here. 
right? Then we have to subtract x. So we can probably write this guy as, we can split this guy as x plus, right? And uh, c1 minus 1, x. Same thing, right? If you uh, put the x and the c1 minus 1, x together, you get, uh, you get this guy, right? So this is the first term we need to make this guy a sine function, right? So, but there's a leftover here. So we have plus, right, c1 minus 1. Then you have a summation. n goes from 0 to infinity. And a negative 1 to the n. And x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. Right, but this will only take uh, that much. But there's a leftover x, so it's going to be plus x. Right, so therefore uh, we get this is c0 cosine of x plus this is c1 minus 1 sine of x, but you have a leftover x there. Right. So that's why we have this as the answer. So you can see that the c0 cosine of x, I wrote it in a different order. But you have a c minus 1 sine of x. Then you have a leftover x there. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.